Good morning. <laughs> it is the day after Christmas holiday. And while I was gone, I went to Goodwill. While I was gone from y'all. And I spent almost $250 on one of my best thrift hauls in a very long time. I'm so, so excited to show you what I found. I've got it all here. We're gonna carry it in. Oh. Um, it's 24 items, so that's great. But first, like I said, it's the day after Christmas. So we just had a big holiday weekend and it's time to do shipping. So we're gonna head in, get that over with, tell you what sold, and then we're gonna do a thrift haul of all this stuff and hopefully get a photograph today. I uh, got a big day of work today. Very excited to get into it. So let's head on inside. I have about 16 items to pull for today, which is not bad but it's not great. I only had, I think, one or maybe two sales on Christmas, but I had four sales this morning. I actually asked Billy Lou and Matt to visualize me having some good sales this morning, and it worked. <laughs> I woke up to one sale and three offers, so I'm gonna get those shipped out as well. And yeah, we're going to get this ball rolling. I really do think the best week of sales for December is going to be the last one, uh, just because people are now no longer buying presents for other people, they're buying stuff for themselves. <laughs> and usually when it comes to used clothing, it's almost always purchases for yourself or maybe, you know, your kids or something. I'm hoping that is the case because it would be great to end the year strong and just have a really good week of sales so and this is definitely going to be a new year's top which is another thing people shop for this week so what i typically do is you know this is good to know, think about when it comes to valentine's day or spring break is just kind of share <laughs> not that this is like a massive game changer in terms of your sales but i like to share items that people are searching out for. for. So right now I'm sharing items for New Year's Eve to the top of my closet, just in case people do stumble upon my closet and see those things. And then, you know, for February, I'll share red things and then spring break, obviously, swimsuits and so forth. Okay, this was a really good sale. I'm really excited about this next one. I had a note for myself to double check this item <laughs> when I was doing my inventory audit. And so now I can't find it and I'm worried that I don't have it. Okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, I sold two of the same thing. Oh, I don't like having to pull down from the top, but it's fine. <laughs> At least things are really organized because I can put the same letter on one row. So like H01 through H20 is at the top, H21 through 40. You can just put 20 per shelf and then the H's are complete on one little row and it makes it so easy to find things. In my last office space, it wasn't organized this way and um, took much longer. L02, just sold this this morning. Oh my gosh, I need to get back to that. <laughs> oh, I should have checked. I had L06 also needing to grab that. Oh, for measurements. Just a little light exercise. <laughs> Extra exercise. Okay. In 10, another one from the top. Okay. Okay. Got my shoes. Those will be easy to ship. Got my last item. And we are ready to roll. Let's go get shipping done and I'll share with you what sold. Okay. I just went ahead and printed out all my labels so that we can be super efficient with shipping. Let's do eBay first. So I had three eBay sales over the weekend. Honestly, eBay has really been disappointing me lately, but I think maybe I'm disappointing it. <laughs> so, you know, in January, I am very committed to listing on eBay every single day. And we'll see if by the end of January, I'm having better sales. I think that's really kind of like the defining factor when it comes to having good sales on eBay. You know, it's still my second best platform, but 
I'm not only not having that many sales, I'm also having a lot of returns on eBay. I just had another one open up, so I don't know. It's just, eh, it's not my favorite platform, but okay, I've got to fit this in a padded flower. <laughs> I might have to refold it. Anyway, let's go over my sales. So three eBay sales. This was my first one. It was a Vince Camuto jacket that I got at the bins. I didn't have it listed that long, but I didn't have a ton of interest in it. So I was kind of keen on moving it. This person did message me. And even though I you know, stated the condition in the listing, she was asking about, are there any flaws? Are there any blah, 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 blah? Are there any tears? Are there any loose threads, etc.? Maybe I should have looked it over one more time. But anyway, I listed for 50 and she sent me an offer for 25. So 50% off. So if I get a return on this, I won't be super <laughs> stoked. But I was happy to move it out. Uh, I had it listed for 33 days, so not bad. And it gives me a, a profit after fees and shipping of $19. Oh, wait, no. I've, of $18 and three cents. So it's not bad, it's a good sale. I just hope it doesn't make its way back to me. <laughs> okay, and then I sold a pair of shoes that I've literally had forever. I have had these Donald Pliner heels and I actually have another pair of them for so long. Let's see how many days. 1,487 days. Comment down below with your recent sale of the oldest item you've had. Because <laughs> this is probably, this is probably the oldest item I've sold this month. I love selling really old stuff because, man, I'm just tired of looking at it. But Donald Pliner definitely can sell well. It's just really style dependent and for whatever reason, this style was just not it. I actually got these at, I think I, I don't think I got them through liquidation. I think I got them at Last Chance. There is basically like a Nordstrom rack clearance store in both Phoenix and Chicago. And so I was in Phoenix, I think for Posh Fest or something. And I bought these like so, so long ago. <laughs> so my profit, I sold them for, I had them listed for 50. I mean, I had them listed for way higher initially, but I've been discounting them. And then received an offer for 30 plus 9.99 shipping, which I accepted, which gave me a profit of $14.96. So I'm just so happy they found a home and I hope the other ones do too. <laughs> but these are actually really nice heels that I don't know why. It, I honestly don't know why it took so long for these to sell. I like, I saw a pair of, a couple pairs of Donald Pliner shoes at Goodwill the other day. And I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm just not willing. <laughs> right now to go there although some styles can do really well okay and the last sale was a, a super down dress super down is an in-house brand of revolve it's kind of their more affordable in-house brand this is a new attack super down kiki dress probably going to be worn for new year's i'm guessing and i've had it for a while so i'm also happy to see this one sell i had this one listed for 48 and it sold to, as an offer to Liker for 33.60 plus 4.99 shipping gave me a profit of $10.78 because my cost of goods was pretty high on this. But I've had it for 818 days, so happy. It's finally going to end up in someone's wardrobe. It deserves to be worn. Okay, I might have got cut off there. But anyway, let's do this Mercari sale. I actually just cross-listed this to Mercari last night. And I lowered the price on it everywhere. It is a new tag Free People Sensual Wrap Sweater. I've had many of these over the years, but this is my last one. And... I am very happy for them to sell. I at one point had a very large free people palette, which was a unique opportunity that I've yet to come across again. But, and I don't do liquidation anymore. <laughs> but if you're curious about my liquidation journey, I did do a video about liquidation because I did liquidation for a long time where I really wasn't thrifting much. I was mainly just selling liquidated items but anyway I yeah I listed this last night sold this morning so I mean you know that's a great scenario cross listed it last night anyway and I've had it for 785 days and it gave me a profit of $12.72 because 
on this particular palette, my cost of goods was $11.34 per piece. So, you know, that can be kind of high for some free people pieces for sure. But I sold it, I, list, I lowered the price to 45 and I sold it to an offer for 35 So, happy. That's a pretty good deal. New tag sweater for 35 bucks, free shipping, I think. But anyway, I've just had it for so long that I'm happy that it sold. Now, the majority of my sales were on Poshmark, of course. So, the first was the thing I sold two of. It is this Free People James Bandana pullover in orange in a size small. And I have this listed for 60 and I sold it, the first one, through a Posh VA offer. If you don't know about Posh VA, you must not watch my videos because I talk about it all the time. Posh VA is a really valuable tool in when it comes to sales generation in my business. And I send all my offers to likers using it. And the important thing about it is that it will automatically send the offer that I tell it to. Um, one minute after someone likes something. So they're showing interest in that item in that moment, they're on the app. That's when I want to send them the offer. And Posture VA allows me to do that. Otherwise I would have to be checking my phone every five minutes. So anyways, I had a list of for 60 and this one sold for 42 plus discounted shipping. So that gave me a profit of $21.04. And I think that was on Friday or Saturday. Next is a sweater that I had just Got from the bins and listed. It's a Sundance sweater, the size large, and it's a recent style. So all those factors definitely helped make a fast sale. When it comes to brands like Soft Surroundings, Sundance, Garnet Hill, I really prefer and basically only pick up larger sizes. Uh, but I got this at the bins. I, I think I could have sold it for more, but I had it listed for 38 and received an offer for 25 and I just went ahead and accepted it. It is a really cute V-neck kind of faded sweater. And I had it only for seven days listed and I made a profit of $19.05. So I think that's really good. I'm happy about that. I got it at the bins so my cost of goods were low and it moved fast. So if I could do that over a million times, I would. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Okay, my next sale I've had for so long. I might have had this longer than the shoes. No, not even close. <laughs> Wait, why did I think I had this for so long? I thought I did. I think this must have been, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I only had this 460 days only. That's, you know, a year and a third of a year. It is a Millie dress. I've, I have had Millie items sit for a very, very long time. So maybe that's why I just assumed this one had been sitting for an incredibly long time. I mean, a year is a long time by a lot of people's standards, but I certainly have plenty of inventory that's over a year old. This is a Millie dress, really cute, size zero, which is another factor why um, I must have assumed it's set for so long, but so cute. Millie makes really cute things, it's just, and there are certain pieces that will sell well, but generally it's gonna sit for a while. I had it listed, I think I lowered the price to 100, and someone sent me an offer for 50, which I accepted, which gave me a gross profit of $31.98, which is great. But yeah, Millie, super cute, retails for a lot of money, but will generally sit, and you definitely don't wanna pick up the old Millie stuff. The newer label is really cute though, and. Makes really, really cute stuff. This dress is adorable. It's a striped linen dress. So maybe someone's wearing it on vacation. That would be lovely. Or they're just getting ready for spring already. And then I had another, oh, it's going to Wichita. Oh, cool. That's where I'm from. Anyway, so, and then I had another Free People palette new tag sale. Wait, did I even grab this one? I don't remember grabbing this one. <laughs> It didn't make its way on. Oh yeah, it did. I just skipped it. Okay, pause, time out, I'll be right back. Okay, time back in. <laughs> I have a bunch of these in both size small and extra small. Uh, it's a Free People cropped hoodie. It's kind of got this cool tie-dye pattern. I have them listed, I think pretty low, like 40 or something. Yeah, 40. And this one sold for $23. And that, again, my cost of goods is high on these things. So I had a profit of $7.06, but you know, $18.40 is gonna be deposited into my bank account, 
which is good <laughs> so, because uh, I get my cost of goods back that I've been I've been out of for 782 days and this piece gets a new home and I make a little bit of money so it's crazy to think how many free people items I have sold over the years new tag and continue to sell okay I do like selling free people it's just there's so much of it in the world <laughs> You gotta be selective with what you pick up. I'm actually going to go set out these packages outside just in case the mailman comes early and, or not early, it's 940. And then I'll add the other ones to this when we're done. So I'll be right back. Okay, my next thing I'm really, really excited about. This is a dress that I thrifted with Billy Lou and we just went to Goodwill one morning. They had two Reformation Winslow dresses and th this is an old label. I think I talked about this in a recent video because I was photographing this. But anyway, Winslow is a really good style by Reformation to know because even though this is an older label, older piece is still sold so fast for such good money. I listed it for 150 and I think within one day, yeah, one day, I received an offer for 135. So, good, Billy Lou is my good luck charm. We found two of these, I still have one listed. This was a size large in a red color which is, you know, perfect for New Year's and this time of year. But I think the blue one will sell fast too. And yeah, such a good sale. I am, I was just so elated when it sold. Okay, so before my camera died, I think I was telling you how much I profited from that Reformation dress. I made a profit of $95.01. So that was really good. Definitely a style by Reformation to know. And then my camera died, so I just quickly wrapped up a couple more sales. Uh, the first is this Duluth Trading Company button down. It was a men's 2XL. This is, I think, a pretty common style by them, swing and solid flannel, flannel shirt. I only pick up Duluth Trading Company at the bins, and that's because it typically is a pretty quick seller for me. I had this listed for 28 and I received an offer for 14, which I just went ahead and accepted. I had it for 33 days and it gave me a profit of $9.93. So not bad, not great. I mean, I probably could have made more from it, but you know, it's fine. I'm happy with the sale. And then this is a pair of shoes that I thrifted at Goodwill. I think it was in some thrift with me. These are new with Tag Echo shoes and I made a profit of $25.59 and I had them listed only for 76 days. So I really like selling Echo. Uh, it's a good shoe bread and butter brand, I guess. Uh, I found a really good pair of Echo shoes that I'm excited to show you in this haul that we're about to do. And then, okay, I have a few more sales to package up. This sale came through last night. It was like my only one from Christmas, uh, other than maybe one of those on eBay was on Christmas too. And it's a pair of men's page jeans that I got at the bins. Page Doheny style jeans. I had them, I think I just lowered the price because I had them, yeah, for 377 days. So I lowered the price to 35 and they sold from a Posher VA offer to Liker for 24 plus discounted shipping, which gave me a profit of $16.12 because again, I got them at the bins and I had them again for about a year, 377 days. So happy these guys sold. I do like selling men's jeans and more of those premium denim brands. Okay, and then these three sales came through this morning. The first is this new tag NBD Julina Crystal Tank. This is the one that I was saying is definitely going to be worn on New Year's, I think. It's really cute. It's got these rhinestone straps. Make sure we get all the fuzzies off of here for shipping. Uh, I had this quite a while and I had just lowered the price on it. I'm kind of going through and lowering the price on a lot of things in my closet that I've had for a while. You know, out with the old and with the new. But this is so cute. I'm glad it sold. Uh, I had it listed for 40 and it sold from a Posher VA offer to Liker for 28 plus discounted shipping, which only gave me a profit of $4.73. But that's fine. I got my cost of goods back, the money I invested in it back, and I had it for 821 days. So, And then my last two sales, it was so crazy. I received two offers from two different people on the same kind of item. 
that James Bandana sweatshirt from Food People that I have. I sold another one earlier, it was my first sale. I have them listed for 60 and I received two offers from two different people for 30. <laughs> and I just decided to go ahead and accept that 50% offer, both of them. So this first one is an orange, the orange color, I think it's called a do yeah, Adobe and sold for 30, no shipping discount. Size small, new with tags. I have one more of these in this size. I have a bunch, I think, I don't know. I was gonna say, I think I have a bunch of mediums. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's right. But I'm glad I'm selling through these. I mean, all this free people stuff I've just had for so long. And sold it for 30, no shipping discount. So each one of them gave me a profit of $12.66. And I've had them both for around 800 days. So I'm very glad. I was very happy just to accept those offers. And then the last one was the same style, different color. It is this ivory color. And this was a size extra small, new with tag. And this was the last I had in this size and color. So happy it has sold. I had this, I had these listed for like 80 or something for a long time and they just sat and sat. Just had a price too high. I could probably make 40 from them, but if I wanted to wait longer for the right person, but I don't. So, be about that. Okay, do I say happy about that like every time? <laughs> I'm just, I need to find a new phrase. New catchphrase. Not happy about that. Okay, that is shipping. Shipping done. We have a decent chunk of change, two and a half, a little over two hours actually, to get this stuff from Goodwill hung up, get it steamed, and get it photographed. That is the goal. But it's 24 items, so it's quite a few items. I do have one measurement I'm realizing that I need to do, I think on someone requested measurements. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that off camera, do that measurement real quick, and then I will meet you at the thrift haul. I'm so excited to show you what I found. Okay, so let's hang this stuff up. I'm gonna show you what I found. There's so many brands that are new to me in this haul, which was something that I was really keen on doing is Googling as many brands that I came across that look like they might be valuable as possible. And hopefully it pays off. I think I've kind of gotten into the rut of selling a lot of bread and butter brands and brands I just know very well. And that's something I want to challenge myself this year is just really expanding into doing research while I'm thrifting and learning about new brands. So the first one is a brand I've never heard of. It is, I think, an activewear brand, but it's WSLY. Wisely? I don't know. But this, I did check comps on and comps look good. It is a ribbed tank dress midi length in this royal blue. I paid $7.99 for it and it is a size extra large. So I'm excited to see how that does. This is a collaboration I didn't know existed. It is a Zazi, which if you sell formal wear, you've definitely come across this brand and Kindle and Kylie. Here, I'll show you, it's new, it's hag. So I checked this over like three times <laughs> to make sure it didn't have flaws, but it's a really gorgeous actually satin dress. It's got this gathering detail and some draping along the neckline. Really, really pretty. Uh, they did a good job with this dress. It comes in a dusty blue. It's a custom size. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's weird. So I'll have to measure it. it. Like literally the size says C for custom. <laughs> On the tag it says custom. Maybe that's why no one wanted to pick it up. But no, I'll just measure it and I'm sure it approximates to, oh, it even has the measurements here. Bust 39.5, waist 35.5, hips 46. So I'll just go on their size chart and include the size chart and approximate the size. Not too bad. But new tags in excellent condition and my cost of goods was $13. So that was a good one. Okay, this is a brand never heard of. I went through the blazer section. This was my only find, but I think it might be a really good one because when I was checking comps, at least the available listings on Poshmark in this brand were really great. And this is a you know substantial piece, Karen Finch. This is a made in Italy, 70% wool blazer, extra, extra large, really, really nice. And it's a navy blue. It's got this contrasting gray color. It was $12.99, so. Very excited to see how it does. And it's a good time of year to list this. 
I think blazers is a really good thing to be picking up right now, along with activewear, but I didn't go through the activewear section. <laughs> I probably should be doing that, maybe. If I go sourcing tomorrow, I will be sure to do that. Here is another brand I never heard of, and it was actually the first piece that I picked up. It is Hero Clark. I found this in the men's section. Uh, the new color of the week was blue, and so I really kind of focused on blue tags, and this was $7.99. I was like, there's no way this is like, you know, anything that special, but I definitely want to look up the brand, but then I saw comps on this sweatshirt and it, they were really good. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I don't know what size it is. It looks like it's a small. And in fact, I should have maybe checked. <laughs> I thought it would be on the materials tag. But I don't see a materials tag. Well, the materials tag is missing and I will have to approximate the size on this one as well. But this was a style that is common to this brand. Hopefully it sells well. We'll see. Hero Clark. I probably should do more research on it. This was my best find, I think, of the entire trip. And it came out on a new rack. I think I was like one of the first people to go through the rack. And it is Arcteryx, probably one of the best polo brands right now in terms of just how quickly it sells and how well it retains its value. And this is in like excellent condition as far as I can tell. It's such a nice coat. It's got this soft paneling on the side. It's a women's, let's see, women's medium. Oh no, it's a men's medium. I think that's even better. I think men's Arcteryx might even be better than women's. So cool. And they didn't even mark it up that much. I think I accidentally pulled off the price tag, but I'm pretty sure it was $12.99. So it was either that or $14.99, but either way, definitely worth picking up. And then, and I like really only sold Arcteryx one or two other times, so very excited to have found that. Um, this is, I found on the same rack as that Arcteryx. This is Madewell, size six, and Madewell dresses, of course, have to be super selective, but I thought this one looked like a recent style, and it looked linen, I don't know if it is. I did find it, I think it's linen, but the materials tag is cut out, but when I checked comms, it looked good, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's got a button front, really cute vintage-inspired floral print, and it was only $9.99, so hopefully this one does well. Here, I kind of want to like group all my dresses together. This is another brand new to me brand. I'm so excited to have found it. This is the kind of stuff that I want to be Googling more. Uh, in the past, I think I would have just, you know, passed it, but it's Lisa Cordy, which I've never heard of. Let me know in the comments down below, have you ever heard of this brand? And it says Milano on the bottom. Look it up. It's definitely a brand worth knowing, I think. We'll see how well it sells. It might just sit, we'll see. But this is a really good piece. It is a maxi length dress, long sleeve. It's got this contrasting uh, fabric along the buttons and then the buttons are really pretty gold. So, and it's a size large. So all those factors I think are really great and it was only $7.99. This was on a new rack and when I, Checked comps actually, there wasn't a ton listed, but the ones that were looked really good. So this is Bowden size 12. Oh no, it wasn't on a new rack, because it's a red color. I don't know where I got this. And it is actually just a little short dress. It was really easy for me to find the style, name of this dress. But I don't remember off the top of my head when I checked comps. But it was $7.99, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I really like selling Bowdoin. This is actually not, this is the more recent tag, but they're new tech because my mom is a huge customer of Bowdoin. <laughs> um, but their new, new tag is completely different. It looks really cool. I have yet to find that. I think it's really new, that's why. Oh, this was on a new rack. This was a good find. I haven't checked comps, but I think it should be really good. It's Athleta, size six, and it is a jumpsuit. Really cute. I love selling jumpsuits by activewear brands right now. And it was $9.99, which is a good price for our Goodwills. Another Athleta piece. Uh, this is a size four pant. I do need to do a little bit of lint rolling or I mean sorry sweater shaving for just a little bit of this pilling and once I do it'll look good as new but this is from fall 2021 Brooklyn ankle pant I've sold this before I think it's a good typically the type of style I went over this in a 
bread and butter video a while ago. But the style that I find is best on when it comes to Athleta is black pants. So when I find black pants, I get really excited. I actually found a Brooklyn ankle pant in a snake print at the same Goodwill and I passed on it. But this one was black for $7.99. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. Bunch of pants. I haven't sold these in a while. I didn't check comps, but I decided just to pick it up and see how it does kind of as an experiment because this used to be in 2023, 2022, a brand I loved picking up, Beta Brand. This must be their new logo. And this is like, a, it seems like a brand new condition, large petite black pant, which is, if y'all aren't familiar with Beta Brand, they basically make yoga pants that you can wear to work. There are yoga pants that look like trousers. They're really, this one's in really, really excellent condition, really good high quality thick knit, uh, $9.99. So I'm excited to see how that does. It will definitely be a good barometer for if I want to pick up Beta Brand in the future. This is, I have a few men's pieces here. I found a few really good men's pieces on a new rack that came out. I was there for so long, I was there for like three hours. So they were, they were pulling out new racks, which was good to know because it was a Saturday. And typically I don't like to go to Goodwill on the weekend, but they were bringing racks out so quickly that maybe I will start going there on Saturday more often. But this is Taylor Stitch. It's one of my favorite menswear brands to sell. Size 32 pair of green pants. And these were $9.99. I think the average sales price of Taylor Stitch has gone down a little bit, but it just sells so consistently and so well for me. But this, this is a brand I think that sells really, really well right now. And it is, this was on the same rack, Public Rec. If you aren't familiar with it, definitely know it. Uh, this seems like a brand new pair of pants. Like who's donating this? <laughs> but very happy. It's a really good find. A pair of Public Rec pants, what size? 34, 32 and 12.99. So was very happy about that. The only thing you have to know is that when you're flipping through the racks, it doesn't say public rec here on the waistband. You can look at the button here, but where you're gonna find the brand tag is in the front kind of materials tag. So don't skip on it on accident. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of like one of the tricks of being a reseller is you gotta know these little things about brands like Lululemon and then know where to look to see if it's gold. Okay. These jeans might be a complete home run. I don't know. I never heard of them. I don't sell a lot of men's and they're kind of like a mystery to me. I think they're vintage, but they really seem modern. Sugar Cane Company, comment down below if you've heard of this and if you've sold it before. I've never heard of it, but when I was checking comps, I was like blown away because a lot of these similar styles were listed for like between $100 and $200. I also want to check eBay on these too. They, I think are vintage because this definitely looks like a vintage tag or they have just gone out of their way to make it look vintage. They are a salvage pair of men's jeans and the fact that they're salvage also makes them worth more. What salvage is, is like the inside seam has been, I guess covered up. <laughs> Or like has been taken care of so that if you want you can roll it and it has this nice uh, fabric on the seam so pair these were $9.99 I'm really really excited to see how they do they're in excellent condition it's probably from the same guy as the public rec and the uh, tailor stitch thank you oops thank you to whomever donated their fabulous men's wardrobe and then I've never found um I of course love selling figs but I've never found figs pro so I did a quick search on Poshmark just to make sure this was like a legit thing I've never heard of it and I think this actually this line by figs uh, will actually do better than regular figs so I'm excited to find these they have a little bit of a perfume smell but that's okay size extra large Figs Pro Black Pants, $7.99. Great find, excited to list these. Let's keep going. Oh, um, I have told y'all, I've tried to be really picky with Madewell recently, uh, especially jeans, but I found these and I think they're brand new and I decided to just go ahead and pick them up uh, after checking comps. Madewell, you see this little barb here? 
That along with the condition makes me think they're brand new. This is called the Perfect Vintage Flare Jean in size 27. And it is from, well actually they don't even have, I think on some of their more recent pieces, they don't even put the season it's from on there. But anyway, I looked it up. It's got the style number on there. And I am excited to see how they do. It's so weird because our Goodwill's price made well all over the place. But often they price them at like 20 bucks for a pair of jeans. I, I, they've got to stop doing that soon because no one's, no one's buying those jeans for 20 bucks anymore. They're just accumulating in the store. In fact, I'm surprised I don't see them more often at the bins. But these were just $9.99. So decided to pick them up. There are definitely certain styles of jeans by Madewell that still sell well. So I think this is one of them and we will see. Okay, this was actually in the maternity section but it's a men's pair of pants. And I think I've sold this brand before, Brax, because it was very recognizable to me, or I've picked it up and it hasn't sold yet. This is a good menswear brand to know. This is the Mila pant in a size 29, 32. So they're kind of small, which might be why they were in the women's section. And they, this is like a stretchy fabric. So it's I think a similar concept to beta brand, but in the men's version, and these are $9.99, so in excellent condition. They do have a little thing here. I'm gonna try to get out. Like a little bit of zhuzh that, that I should be able to get out with a wet wipe, but I'm gonna just do that real quick. Otherwise, like they look brand new and that came out easily. Okay, what's left? Oh, I found this in the dresses section. One of my favorite brands, Universal Standard, new with tags. If you watch my vlogs, do you remember those jeans I got at Crossroads that were like had a lot of pilling that I didn't see by Universal Standard. They actually did sell pretty quickly. Not for a lot. I was just trying to get my money back, but they sold on eBay for like $18 plus shipping. But anyway, this one's new with tag, so it <laughs> should be in excellent condition. And it's a size extra small, but extra small in Universal Standard is something like a 10 or something. So it is this long sleeve maxi dress and I got it for only $9.99. New with tag. Long sleeve max dress got pockets excited to have found this one don't confuse universal standard for universal thread the target brand very different and then my last clothing piece was this smart wool dress which was on a new rack love selling smart wool i might have to do a little bit of sweater shaving here along the neckline but otherwise in excellent condition. I double checked everything to make sure it didn't have any holes. That's something you have to do with all of these brands. Icebreaker, Smart Wool, etc. Just look for holes because of course moths love wool. But I didn't find any so maybe I'll come across a flaw or two when I'm steaming. We will see. And I only paid $9.99 so it was good. Okay and then I found some shoes which is good because I actually still have my shoe set up for photos so I'm actually going to photograph shoes first and get those going but here are the shoes that I found let me pull out a handy dandy shoe rack I think I got this on Amazon I'll link it down below let's start with the echo shoes since I mentioned those earlier beautiful look at those stunning and like brand spanking new I love selling echo and these are just a, I love this color. Beautiful pair of booties for $14.99. They probably retail for like over $200. They're size 36, um, which they translate to a five, five and a half US. So we'll see if they take a while to sell because just the size alone, but I couldn't leave them behind because I love selling Echo. Those are a recent style and basically unworn condition. So these I didn't check comps on, probably should have. Oh, this is good. This is the last chance tag. So I know that my Goodwills are buying Nordstrom palettes from last chance. <laughs> I don't know that. Well, I mean, I just, I know it now. <laughs> it's not like they told me, but I've definitely noticed, you know, a lot of new a tag last chance things. So these are like basically brand new Steve Madden shoes, heels. Very cute. Yeah, I did not check comps, but I should. I will when I'm listing them anyway. They were $9.99, size seven, like unworn condition, so. 
I'm out of breath. <laughs> I got another pair of Steve Madden. I think, yeah, these are also have Nordstrom Rack tags, so it's probably a similar situation. And they were $12.99. And I actually did look up, I think this is a really recent style because there weren't a lot of listed on Poshmark, but I did look it up and it is, seems to be a good style. So I'm excited to have found these and it's a good size too, it's a size 10. And then a pair of Madewell booties in good condition. They do have a little bit of wear on the heel, which I'll just, you know, make note of. But otherwise, the leather uppers are in excellent, excellent condition. They have, they're from fall 2019, size 10. They have the style number right there. I mean, really, other than that, and there's some wear on the outer sole, they've been, they've been treated really well. <laughs> so that was a good find because Madewell booties are not always in the best condition when I find them. And then my last sale, um, or my last find, sorry, was a pair of birdies. And I've only sold this brand one other time, I think. These were $6.99. They have a few little flaws on the suede upper. They are these kind of slip-on sneakers. So I'll just take photos of that and disclose it, but they're really in excellent condition. So I decided to just go ahead and pick them up. Like they, they're this right here. And then maybe this one right here. But otherwise, in excellent condition and they are a size nine they're my size hmm. <laughs> 6.99 was a good find okay well that is the thrift haul now i've got to get busy and photograph this stuff actually the first thing i'm going to do is uh take a wet wipe and our goodwills make water soluble marks on the brand tag so i'll go through all the tags to get those marks off and then i will go through the shoes get all the adhesive off using Goo Gone, if it's on the bottom of a sole and the sole is not leather. And then I will steam everything, and then I'll cut off the tags, and then we'll get to photographing. So, I'm out of breath <laughs> from talking so much. Sorry, that's pregnancy for you. I'm 26 weeks as of yesterday. I'm so happy with this haul, and I have a lot of work to do, so let's get to work. All right, I'm gonna let my camera maybe rest for a second while I do all of that stuff. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, so what ended up happening is that <laughs> I actually forgot I had to do some work on the computer, which took some time, it took like 45 minutes. And so I steamed 10 items but i still have like nine left i guess oh wait, wait there's no card in here okay so uh, i have like nine left to do another time very unfortunately i don't think i'll have time to photograph enough today enough that i really need to get photographed so because i do want to go sourcing tomorrow because i have that 70 a week but, oh, okay, well, I just remembered. Part of my plan <laughs> for this year, and I'll probably talk about this again in another video, is that I want to, um, here, actually, let me do a side photo with the zippers. I think I'm, the last week of December, I'm actually not going to list that much, except for items that I have, I find that aren't listed through my inventory audit because I want to finish my inventory audit this week if possible. And so and the reason being, I w have been watching a lot of resellers YouTube, a lot of different resellers on YouTube. Two of my favorites are Ginger Marvin and Kaylee Elaine. And Kaylee, I was, I was kind of thinking about this like in the back of my mind but she kind of validated the idea for me for sure, was that I really wanna like be a listing, have a backlog of listing. The reason I was thinking about it is because my friend does this too. So right now I would be photographing items for next week and I'd already have stuff because right now what I'm caught in is like a constant rat race to have stuff to list tonight. And it makes, it definitely creates a vulnerable system. So. I want to instead have kind of a backlog of things. Oh man, come on. And the way I can do that is if I don't list the last week of December, but I do photograph and have things ready for next week. 
that's my plan. So as long as I can make up what I was supposed to get done today, which is very unfortunate. The other snafu though in this plan is that my brother is coming in town. And so I did want to kind of take some time off to spend with him. So I don't know if that's gonna get to happen or I don't know. That's always like the conundrum with being your own boss is like when friends come in town or family comes in town, you know, you are the boss so you get to decide how much time off you get. I end up falling in the trap where I take off too much time and then I am in a hole with work. I don't know, I'm just gonna have to probably talk to my brother. Maybe he will go thrifting with me or something. But if I can get these shoes done, photographed today, that would be good. It's gonna take me a minute to inventory the shoes. So I won't probably have time today. There's something on the leather here. I'm just trying to get it off gently so I don't scratch the leather. So with shoes, uh, I don't know if I've gone over this, but I take an angled shot and I take a straight on shot. Sometimes like a more bird's eye straight on. Sometimes I'm down here. I take a side shot, I take a back shot. And it's usually like pretty easy because here, I wanted to get a shot of the wear on the heels for this one, so any flaws. And then the bottom of the soles, which I'll either like lean them against each other like this, or lay them flat if I can. And then if there's a sticker or a style number, this has a style number, so one of these places. And I will try my darndest to get it, but sometimes it's very hard with this camera in particular. It's easier on my phone. A couple of unfortunate things I discovered upon steaming. That Lisa Cordy dress has a pretty substantial flaw. It, it like the pocket or something. Well, it looks to be a homemade repair on it. <laughs> Maybe when I'm photographing it, you know, I'll show y'all in the future. And it's pretty big. But it definitely kind of goes with the aesthetic. Like the way they did it is actually kind of cute. So I'm trying to decide, should I just list it and then list it like, you know, lower and see how it does? Or should I return it? Because it's probably going to sit for a long time. Or actually I have no idea because I have no experience with this brand. So it's kind of like, oh, is there high demand for this brand? And it's worth just listing, you know, for 30 bucks and someone will want it for 30 bucks. Or is there a very low demand for this brand? And any significant flaw like that is gonna basically make it unsellable. I don't know. Okay, last shoe. Yep, there's my alarm. What works really well on these platform leather soles, or rubber soles rather, is the Magic Eraser. But I don't have time to get one out. <laughs> Because, I mean, I, since I'm not listing this stuff, I could pause here and do this later. This is actually working pretty well. I'm just kind of like, I have a very, like, little bit of goo gone on this paper towel. It's actually doing a pretty good job. And there's nothing, like, really significant on the platform. It's just, like, a little dirt. I think it's actually doing a good enough job. All right, well, that was essentially the vlog. Hope y'all enjoyed. I thought that was a really good thrift <laughs> trip and haul. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Obviously the Arc'teryx is like, I think, the best find. But other than the Arc'teryx, what'd you guys like? Did you learn any new brands? Because I did, and that was fun. I actually kind of made me want, I learned some other brands in the store that I didn't pick up because of condition, but I like screenshotted and it made me want to go back to doing what I used to. I used to do like Bolo brands of the day over on Instagram. I'll never go back to doing that. like with that level of a commitment. But, cause I was doing it literally every day. But I could just share more either, I've been thinking about doing my newsletter again or just on Instagram. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited for 2024. I know you're watching this within 2024. So I hope you've had a really good start to your year already. I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all, bye.